Welcome back everybody to the continuation of our let's play of Space Exploration Cross Storia 2 and AAI Vehicles. So, uh, let's maybe push the elephant out of the door right away. Sorry that I did not put an upload up yesterday. Uh, I was kind of busy on Wednesday. Um, not with work. Uh, actually, on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday evening, uh, I got my Twitch partner invite finally through. So, I'm now a Twitch partner. Yes! Um, which also kind of meant that I spent all Wednesday evening um, figuring out Twitch partner controls and stuff like that and zifting through things and buying upgrades and yada yada yada, uh, which also kind of meant I did not do a recording. Then, first day, I wanted to do a sneaky lunch break recording, but uh, I, we kind of ended up working... I kind of stayed, uh, ended up working um, all the way up to 8 p.m., which also meant I had to cancel my stream that day. So that also kind of happened. Um, and now I clocked just off work. It's 5 p.m. over here. This video will probably go out at maybe 7, maybe 8. Uh, nevertheless, <laughs> sorry for the hiccups these last couple of days. I've been busy. However, um, now that we're Twitch partner, uh, I can relax a bit more, I can focus on a couple more other things, but more about Twitch partner on the Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash BoltViking, get over there. Good, 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 good. So what are we going to do today? Well, first things first, um, last time we sketched out the, <coughs> sorry about that, the refinement plant over here. And I kind of thought that I would have, like, uh, multiple lanes for different materials in here, but I kind of ended up going with the idea that we will only be refining copper over here for now. Copper, main reason is uh, we don't have a lot around us, actually. There's 3 million over there. There's 1.2 million over there. Uh, this one over here is about to run out. Um, and we are still sitting on 9 million iron ore over there. And I think we got even more iron ore around us. Now, there is... Another 4 million of copper over there, and another 6 million of copper over there. Uh, but yeah, copper refinement seems to be more important at the moment than iron refinement. Now, uh, for this thing to start off, we only need a couple more things. Um, I've got an output station over here. For the copper that we will be generating, we just put it on the train. And at any point in time, this train over here will be full. We do need to do something like this over here, else you will be stuck. There we go. Um, at some point in time, this train will be full, and then he just makes a lap, comes back, comes in from the top, and then we just fill up our refinement over there. There was the idea that I just feed it back in, but to be perfectly honest, um, just putting it back on the train and then feeding it back in via train, I think, is just the better idea. Then, over here, um, we got um, the stone output. Stone goes over here. It basically goes the same way as the copper over there. We just put the stone output on the train. At some point in time, we will pick up the stone in this uh, area over here, and then we just send it off to wherever we need. However, there is one ingredient missing, uh, and that is the sulfuric acid over there. Excuse me. <coughs> there we go. Much better. And we still need to make some sulfuric acid. Now, I was kind of thinking about maybe just, just ordering up sulfur somewhere and then start making sulfuric acid somewhere. But no, actually, you know what? We got everything we need right over here. What do we need to make sulfuric acid? Well, we need sulfur, uh, we need iron, and we need water. So we actually have everything we need over here. The only thing we need to do is to figure out how much of the sulfur we want to diverge over to the sulfuric acid department. Um, good. And let's maybe start out by sketching out a thing. So, we got the chemical plant. We can make sulfuric acid over here. We can put in productivity modules. We do want to put in productivity modules. And we do know that if we align our chemical plants like this, that we get a crafting speed of 2 in them. Um, looking at this, a crafting speed of 2 means we do this recipe one time per second. If we want to feed in... Um, a single belt, a single blue belt of sulfur. Actually, even better. Sorry, uh, I'm babbling. Um, each one of these makes 40 sulfur per second. So one of these belts can go into four of these. And the other belt can, can, do, can go into four of these as well. So that already kind of... Dedicts? Deduces? What's it called? I know the German word for it. Uh, but this kind of already um, tells us how we need to set this thing up. So that we dictates. That was the word I was looking for. Dictates. Good old dictators. Um, good, good, good. 
Uh, it already dictates how we have to set this up. Um, and we're just going to go with something like this, something like that, something like this, something like that. Uh, let's copy you over and off you go. Good. Um, let's connect these up in the middle. So in the middle over here is going to be a single belt of iron ore. And I just noticed something, not iron ore, uh, iron plate, uh, that we do not have to space over here uh, for this thing to run. There we go. Now we go the correct way. Good. Iron plates. We need two iron plates per machine per second. Two iron plates per second. That is blue inserter speed. There we go. This is a perfect alignment. Uh, and then we want this again. And we can just hit it up back to back. That is the place that we are going to be making sulfuric acid. Each one of these makes 125 sulfuric acid per second. So the whole row over here is 500. That's 1,000 sulfuric acid per second. That's as fast as we can go. Good. Now, we do need some power around here. Um, two ways to do that. Option one would be just some random pulse. I think going with random pulse is fine. Uh, and then we do need some lamps in here. There we go. And then last but not least, and this will be stack inserters. We might even need two stack inserters. Uh, let's maybe put in the liquids in first. Uh, actually, we only have space for one stack inserter if I look at this, like this one. Uh, we do need to stack in uh, 10 sulfur per second. Is it really 10 sulfur? It's 10 sulfur per second. Uh, that will be fine. A single stack inserter can do that. Um, a single stack inserter, insert, uh, stack inserter uh, has a insertion hand size. Where is that thing? I'm being blind. There we go. Uh, of six items per grab, and it has a rotation speed of 864 degrees per second. Uh, a full insertion one-way trip around is 360 degrees, uh, so 720 degrees is two insertions per second. We go faster than that, uh, so it should be fine. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So that will be sulfur coming in. What is this? Is that? Okay, that's just a little bit of debris. Speaking of debris, um, if you have not seen it yet, uh, there was a new Friday factorial fact coming out today. I was absolutely surprised to see that. Uh, I was not expecting a Friday factorial fact, and if you don't know what the Friday factorial facts are, uh, it's basically the development block of the factorial developers, and they were talking a bit about their next DLC. Um, and not really their next DLC, more or less their uh, first ever DLC. Because Factorio does not have DLCs yet. Also, we don't really want to go um, whatever that belt is. Uh, but they have already said, uh, always said, like, uh, that they would rather do a DLC uh, than remake Factorio altogether. So no Factorio 2. Um, it will more or less go like, um, there will be like a Factorio 1.2 release. And on top of that, you will get the Factorio content DLC. Um, and they've already priced it, actually. Um, or at least they 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 not really fully priced it yet, but they have, like, a price estimate on it. And it will be 30 bucks. Uh, now, you might be thinking, what? 30 bucks? That's, like, a lot of money. Well, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I think most Factorio players have at least 500 hours in this game. It's, it's like, nothing. If you have, like, if you, if you love this game, <laughs> there's no reason not to buy the DLC. Um, because it will be great. And supporting the Factorio devs is yeah, there's nothing better you could do. Good, let's have a look at this. 200, 400, 600, 800 water per second over here. Each water pump does 1,200. So we will just make two distinct water pumps over here. And it should be fine. Ooh. Well, this almost broke. Wait, actually, this broke. <laughs> could you fix it up, please? Um, oop. There we go. Good. Uh, we do need some power over there. Uh, let me just see where this one is. And there we go. Good, 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 good. Um, I guess we're going to place you over there then. And then in you go. Can we reactivate this? There we go. And then you get one over there. And you get one over there. And that is power for these pumps over there. Let's also pick up you. Ah! Spicy stone! <laughs> Can I put it in here? No. Let's put it on the ground. That'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
Good, good, good. Uh, is there no water coming through here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something is wrong. So wait. Well, oh, I'm in the other map mode. Uh oh. I thought this connected. I must have been seeing double. There we go. Good. So that is uh, water coming up. Um, we will need some um, tracks over here. How is you? You is mostly fine. Get over here. Good. And then we fix all of this up. There we go. There we go. And of course we need the iron. Well, the iron will be coming from over here. Um, what do we say? We need two iron plate per machine per second. That's two, four, six, eight, sixteen. Uh, that is just red belt. Um, so let's make it red. There we go. And then let's pull this all the way over there. And then all the way over there. I mean, we already have like uh, an iron station over here. No reason not for us to use this one. There we go. Good, 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 good. And then you over there, you will be pumping out sulfuric acid. That's going to be fine. Uh, I just noticed something. We do still need to put that sulfuric acid into a train line somewhere, uh, which means we do need uh, a train station. Uh, we do need a train station that can hold quite a lot of liquid. Uh, we do have this one over here. Uh, did we ever update this one? Nah, this should be fine. This should be fine. Good. And we rotate you around. We're going to place you... Right over there. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, we do have to dig through um, the belt over there. But that will be fine. And then you go like this. There we go. And then you get one over there. There we go. And then this will be filling us up over here. Excellent. Now, again, this one over here has the issue of the balancing. Uh, we have not really solved that issue yet. Um... So, for now, I think it's fine. Um, we will just let this thing back up all the way, and then it should be fine. Good. That's a little bit far. We only need to be over there. There we go, and over there. There we go, and then hook up you. There we go, and then, of course, take this out. Go straight. You go across. And then this one will end up over there. You go over there, please. Good. Excellent. This should be built over here now. We also get all the modules that we need. Excellent. Um, question. Can we can we store a whole train in here? Oh, we can. Then we shall. No reason to not store a whole train in there. Uh, then again, this one over there will be one of these. And this one will be one of these. We're going to remove you. Uh, there we go. And then you over there. Could you move down there real quick? Uh, actually, before you do that. Actually, let, let me move down there. You move up here. We need to fill up these tanks, please. Good. So, we're now making some sulfuric acid. Uh, this one is almost going fast enough. This inserter is actually not fast enough. Um, I was not expecting that. There are ways how we could make this fast enough by just using splitters and stuff like that. Um, then again, I'm pretty sure... Well, actually, we do need to update this one. Because later on, we're going to have the issue that we will have faster belts. Uh, well, we also get faster inserters. I'm a bit on the fence about this one. I mean, technically, a loader for each is fine. Let's pick this all up real quick. Like, everyone could get the loader. There we go. There we go. Um, and then we are just going to put down a red one real quick. Um, it needs to be a little bit different then. If, if, we, if we do it like this, it will be a little bit different. Because then you will get one. And you will get one. And you will get one. And then it will be like this... Like that, like this, and like that. And this over here is actually all red, and this one is blue. Or oh, this one should be blue. 
and then it should be working in according speeds. There we go. Get over here, please. And then you over there. Do it like that, please. And then we can do the same thing over here. Let's just cut this line over there so that these guys can run out. There we go. Uh, and actually, putting that in there is a bit stupid. Um, I would rather put this in there because then we can empty it out over there. Good. And then we do the same thing over here. Let's just pick up these. Let's pick up those. There we go. And then you get one, you get one, you get one, and you get one. And then we do the same thing over here. There we go. And then it's yellow belt over here. Yellow belt over there. Yellow belt over there. And some red belt over there. Good. And now these are running at full speed all the time. Much better. Much better. Good. Good, 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 good. And now you can go down here and do the signals, please. Good. What does the recording time say? 60 minutes. Excellent. Uh, sulfuric acid. Okay, we, we might want to figure out this thing again. As we are now sitting at 51,000 over here. And 32,000 over there. 19,000 over there. 11, 6, 3, 1, less. Hmm. Now, we could set up a pumping system. Um, we could just set up, up, up something like this that, that we check. I mean, we always have input over here. This one will always be having more than tanks after him. We could set up a system that we just check your height with your height. And then, if it's less, we open up a pump. Uh, for that, we need two things. We need one of these. Uh, before we... Okay, how, wait, 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 wait. Let me just... We need one of these, and then we need an arithmetic combinator. There we go. You hook up to there. Uh, you are set up to something. Doesn't really matter right now reason I want to do it like this is so that this one doesn't go immediately. Then, uh, this one will be negating. Will this one be negating? Yeah, this one will be negating. Negating will be fine. Each, each, multiply it by minus one. So, now we can do the following. Uh, green wire into here. Uh, red wire into there. Yes. So, we now know the tank contents over here, and we do know the tank contents over there. We do need to disconnect all of these. For now, uh, we might reconnect these in a different way. Um, it should be fine. And then again, if they all are balanced, we can just take a probe of one. Um, somewhere over here. I kind of dislike that this one is blinking all the time. Um, that could be an issue, but... Um... Yeah, he's constantly calculating that. The thing I'm currently thinking about is we, we do it the following way. So, we know that we have minus 26,000 over there. We have more over there. If we add them all together, if we have a positive number, that means we have more in here than we have in there. So, we could do the following. We could just set this up to, say, something like um, sulfuric acid. If it's larger than zero, you're enabled. And then these two will balance each other out. There we go. Now they're balanced. And now we have this situation over here where this one is going plink, 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 non-stop. Now we can just uh, copy-paste this system over to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. No problem. Um, but how about something different? How about something like... Um, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. This will work. Um, I guess this is fine. Let's maybe put this in for now. See how it behaves for this station. This station alone. Uh, and then just let it simmer a bit more in our minds. To see if we can come up with a better solution. Because we can do this. 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 And this. And this will... 
Yeah, this balances each other. This is actually decent balancing. Look at this. It's now decently balanced all over. And then the only thing we need to do is we need to check uh, this tank over here. Um, there we go. Are you still connected? You're still connected? Yep. Yeah. You over there, you're only going to open up if sulfuric acid is more than 25,000. Uh, technically, it would be better if we check the last tank, not the first tank. Because the first tank can always overflow a bit, but the last tank is the one that um, requires all the tanks before us to be at the same level. So if we check the last tank and not the first tank, um, yeah, then we definitely know that we have a shipment available over here. Um, so I will have to check up if, if something like this is an issue. Then again, now that it is more or less balanced, it's not running as wild anymore. Uh, but I will probably have to make a post in the Factorio group or something like that, just to see if that is actually an issue or not. But for now, it's fine. Uh, we only have one of these. Um, the problem is when we scale up, if we get, like, more of them, that's going to be the problem. Like, if, if we have, like, ten of them, that's probably still fine. If we, like, have a hundred of them, then it will probably not be fine anymore. And so on, and so on, and so on. Good, we still got nine minutes left. Do I have enough for a train on me? I do have enough for a train on me. So, let's make a train real quick. Uh, one over there. Nope. One over there. And then let's start liquefying this train up. There we go. We got a full sulfuric acid train over there. I don't have any fuel on me, but that's not a problem. Uh, you there. Yeah, I'm, I'm that lazy. Yes, it come to me. But actually, I could just siphon some fuel over here from this train or something like that. Uh, yeah, give, give me that, and <laughs> here, uh, give me that, thank you, um, good, so this friend over here is ready, the station over here is a crude oil provider, no, 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 you are a, uh, sulfuric acid provider, good, everything set up correctly, everything set up correctly, excellent, sulfuric acid provider, sulfuric acid requester, uh, of course, they are the wrong way around. One is written in the German way, the other one is written in the correct way. This one is German. Let's not make any German sulfuric acid. Uh, it's probably not safe. Uh, but again, said we go to sulfuric acid. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you look at the word and you go like, is that actually how you spell it? And you go like, yeah, actually, that's how you spell it. Uh, so, you go to the provider first. You are the provider. You are now going to the requester. The requester will be over there. Let's... Get in, and then we can see our uh, refinement place not in action because we still need to order up the copper trains. Um, but that will be fine. That will be fine. We do, we do need to be over there, and we can then see how the train takes a path. Oh my! What happened over there? Uh, I, I might need to set the repair vehicle over there. Um, good. Yeah, he's, he's going a bit of a roundabout way. Uh, might be a good idea to put, like, a U-turn maybe in the middle of the long segment. Um, but he's going the correct ways. We then go over here. And then we go into here. And then we unload ourselves into there. Good. And acid is already out. Good, good, good. Uh, and then, yes, the only thing that you're missing is some copper ore. So, Wes Oldenbeinvnik, no, you are now a copper ore requester. Um, you are, yeah, how about the following? These over here, these are not copper ore requesters anymore. Uh, the thing we're going to be making is not batteries, not chemical cards, and rich copper. So these ones over here will now be renamed into uh, enriched. Is it enriched copper ore or enriched copper? Enriched copper. Enriched copper requester. Good. We got another copper ore requester over there. That will be you. And then we got one more. No, we only got two. We only got two. Never mind. Good. So you now go to the copper ore requester. I'm just going to send you off. Uh, you're almost empty. That's actually perfect if you're almost empty because then we can see this place over here in action. 
Uh, we do need to make another trade. Ooh, is that? No, that's a Sephora Castle trade. Um, so the Copper Ore trade will be coming over here. Uh, it, it looks like there's not enough sulfuric acid going around, but we really, really, really do not need that much sulfuric acid over here. So the pipe is full. That's important. The machine is full. That's important. And the copper train, I don't see him coming yet. He should be coming. He's probably going the long way around. Uh, he should be coming any minute now. There he is. Coming over here. Uh, then. Now, I did kind of want to wait for the train over there, but let's fly quickly to the mall and get everything we need so that we can make the second train which will be the enriched copper train uh so that we can start bringing that stuff over to the mall um also speaking of uh yeah the the, the starter base over here is almost completely gone um these um uh, deconstruction um wardens over here have been doing a good job at taking care of everything over here good you over here please thank you very much you go down. Uh, and what do we need? Uh, we need train parts. Basic train parts. Also, do I have some crap on me? I got some random ores on me that I don't need. This can go. That can go. I got five fish on me. What the hell? Um, good. Give me some cargo wagons. And give me some trains. I said that the wrong way around. But that is fine. Uh, we also probably want to get ourselves uh, some fuel. Yeah, give me like... Four of these, that will be fine as well. And let's fly back. The jetpack, really, really nice. Uh, does allow you to move um, good distances in a fast speed. And it does not really seem to be as lethal. Though maybe by, by tweaking some settings, we might be able to make it into a more lethal jetpack. Uh, we will have to see. Um, those bots that are down there, well, they will probably take forever to come back to us. But so be it. So be it. Good. We also have to fix up this real quick. And actually... Yeah, I think we can stash a full train in there. And we can stash a full train in there. That should be fine. Uh, but we cannot stash a full train in there. So how about we do the following? This will be fine. Just to do those signals. Good, 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 good. There we go. There we go. And we can actually use this area over here to make the new train. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, bots, get in there. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And then you get some fuel over there. You get some fuel over there. You go to the... Uh, we don't really have the... No, we do have... No, this one is not named yet. You there. You are dire form. No. Um, enriched copper provider. And then we've got an enriched copper requester. You go to the uh, enriched copper provider. Then you go to the enriched copper requester. Full cargo. Empty cargo. Have fun. Good. I'm not quite sure if the signals over here are set up correctly yet. Or the train stations over here are set up correctly yet. Uh, we only have one train going in right now. Uh, this one over here is... Oh, there's no limit over here. No, no limit. It's the best kind of limit. Um, yeah, let's let's just set this one to one for now. Uh, and then we have to, sooner or later, have to figure out how the limits work and how we can set up the limits in a good way. So, the train, I see him over there. He will go do one lap, and then he will be coming over here, and then we can see the Purify over here in action. Uh, I'm also curious about the water levels. Um, I think we gain extra water. Um, oh, oop. I don't think we gain extra water. I'm not quite sure. I, I'm not really seeing any water come out over here. Uh, but then again, we are processing the water over here uh, as fast as we can. Uh, we get most of our water back. And I think these condensers over here... They are probably going to be enough to top up the water tank over here. Which does mean that we over here, we are now making some good old enriched copper. Good. And it's actually going faster than I expected it to be. So enriched copper is a trade-in of um, 3 to 2. Uh, that is good. So 3 copper trains can fill up 2 enriched copper trains. Then again, 
we also have the productivity bonus in here, and this productivity bonus over here is going to be absolutely magnificent in uh, working on the enriched copper, because later on... Oh, perfect. I didn't even know we were missing something over there. Thank you, bots. Uh... Yeah, later on, um, I mean, um, the more productivity bonus you stack, the more of a result you get. And putting productivity over here, so that we can turn the copper ore into enriched ore, and then putting in productivity modules over here, so that we can turn the enriched ore into copper plates. Uh, that extra productivity is going to make us a metric ton of extra resources, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. But looking at this... I'm pretty sure that we do not get any extra water from this. Um, I guess we only get extra and rich copper. So we will probably never need the flare stack over here. We only need to top off the system every now and then. Um, this one over here has started working. But then again, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. This is good. So that's the enrichment center done. Um, and seeing how fast it goes, uh, we might actually not make an extra one over here and set up enrichment lanes here for other stuff as well now speaking of the enrichment um now these are now all mapped to 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 um sulfuric acid so i guess we are going to make one more but uh, i'm kind of thinking of maybe just turning all the dirty water we have not into their respective ores but purely into um raw rare metals over here two reasons uh, we don't really get a lot of them, so that's good. Um, and raw rare metals, um, yeah, they're, they're kind of hard to mine. So getting some of for free over here, I think, is a great idea. Good! Uh, and then the only thing we need to do over here is to wait on... Yep. You're next. Oh, what's going on over there? Oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong with you? You want to go to the glass provider? Why are you standing all the way out there? Did, did, did something break over here? Oh, because the stacker is full. Why is the stacker full? You there. Okay, you... Go over. Go, go, go there. I don't care. Yeah, we definitely need to figure out the signals a bit more. And not the signals, it, it's more... Uh, the stations over here. Uh, we are still not requesting stations in a proper manner, or trains in a proper manner. So we do need to work on that. Also, where's my J button? There we go. So, uh, time to head back. Uh, copper enrichment is done. Iron enrichment, I will probably sneak in at some point in time. Before we go, let's have a quick look at the rocket. Um, one of you magnificent viewers has pointed out that I had a miscalculation in my uh, nuclear power plant setup. Uh, I checked my numbers, and yes, you are correct. I only need half of the um, uh, of the turbines, which is good, which is absolutely good, uh, because that means we we have to build less. Uh, but the rocket over here, which we are going to use to get our vulcanite, uh, is already set up with all the parts that we need for a nuclear power plant, uh, all the parts that we need to make a mine. Oh, a couple of mines, then some, some crafting machines are in there, some, some, some power poles are in there, some lamps are in there, some modules are in there, some nuclear fuels are in there. there there's a bit of everything in here. Um, things that are not in here, now that I look at this. Belts. <laughs> ah, this thing is full. Um, we're probably going to need some belts as well. So let's put some belts in. Let's put, like, say, a thousand yellow, and then a thousand red, and maybe... 500 blue. Then undergrounds. We also need some undergrounds. How about 200 of these? And then... 200 of these. And maybe 50 blue undergrounds. There we go. Good. Then we're also going to need some of these. Like, I think 100 will be fine. Maybe 100 is probably already way too much. Um, but we can just order up 100. That is fine. And then the blue ones as well. I also want a hundred of you. And then splitters are next. Uh, where are the splitters? Over there. Give me like a hundred of these. And a hundred of these. And last but not least, 50 of these. Good. And then we just hook it up to the system. Uh, there we go. And red wire. There we go. And it should now all be called up over here. Oh, this chest is already pretty, pretty full. Uh, we might want to cancel out the things that we have already done. For example, this one, this one, this one, all of this is done. 
so that we then can at least empty out the chest a bit. Um, well, like we don't need this, we don't need that. Um, what else is being ordered up over here? Did, did I take out the... Yeah, I did. We don't need these, we don't need that. Good, and I'll just put them like in the passive provider chest over here. There we go. Good, that's a... Yeah, that's a requesting chest. Good. So that they can fill up a bit more over here. Excellent. Perfect. So, yeah, we are going to be loading this rocket up with pretty much a whole factory. I'm not quite sure how much we can put in there. We could technically just set up a way for us to go back to front all the time. But I want to load this wing up as much as we can so that we only have to go for a single trip and a single trip only. Good. That will be it for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a subscription. Every one of those actions will help me out in growing this YouTube channel into something bloody amazing. Then, you can also find me on twitch.tv slash boldviking, where I have this amazing partner status, yes! Uh, I mean this amazing Pyanodos base, which we are going to be streaming 7pm today, next week. Uh, that will be uh, the second week of February, that will be February 7th to February 11th. There will be no Twitch streams, because after I've got my Twitch partner state, I'm going to take a week off of streaming. Well, 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 well deserved, in my opinion. Uh, but do check out the social, social channels to see when I'm live, where I'm live, because there might be the occasional sneaky stream in there. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!